want to know how things fare for the next few rounds. Very important rounds for Mike Stewart. All you have to do is look at the two when they're on the inside. If Stewart is not punching, that's not good. He's a bigger man. He needs to move those hands. If he's allowed himself to be tied up, that is not good to Stewart. That means he is not fighting his fight for this particular match. Spivey with a nice left hand and a good right, working his way off the ropes well once again. Again, look. Who's tying who up there? Spivey wants to be tied up. He's doing all the scoring on the outside, and then he wants to tie up on the inside. Can't yell at him. Stewart should not allow himself to be tied up. And he has been cooperating in that department. Let's see if Stewart continues working or if he puts his hand behind the man. Stewart allowed himself to be tied up once again. I know people are going to say, hey, Ted, you know, that'd be a little easy on him. He's being tied up by Spivey, the smaller man. The smaller man's being smart. Yes and no. It takes two to tangle. Stewart can do a lot of things to keep from being tied up. You can step back, bring your shoulders back. And Stewart looking for that counter left hook. Almost connected there in the corner. Maybe Smolder now trying to get control of these two fighters. Spivey comes on late here at the end of round nine. We have one to go from the Earth Palace. There's a yellow rose in. This is the tenth and final round between Doran Spivey and Mike Stewart. No joke, Stewart, 28-0-2. But Teddy, his corner may agree with your scoring because they told him in between the ninth and tenth round, you got nothing to lose, go for broke. Yes, they did. I think they're right. But who knows what looks on the cards in front of the judges. You never know. The shadow knows. <laughs> Let's take a look at the punches thrown through nine rounds. Doran Spivey, 899 punches thrown. He's averaging 90 punches around. A blistering pace for Doran Spivey. Teddy's scorecard through nine rounds. 87-85, Spivey. Again, not a good sign if you're a backer. Mike Stewart, he gets inside, does not work. There's only two things Stewart should be doing right now. Actually, three. Don't put his hands behind Spivey. Rotate his shoulders and work to the body when he's inside, and then work uppercuts. Because every once in a while, Spivey, to get away from the shots, will lean forward. The uppercut will then come into play if Stewart would bang that body first. But once again, Stewart stopping the action. Doran Spivey keeping it in the center of the ring here in the 10th and final round and still keeping up a decent enough pace. But Mike Stewart not able to get what he wants. He's looking for the one big punch and to find that range, and it hasn't been there so far two minutes into round 10. I think that so far Spivey has won this fight. We will see as we come down the stretch what happens. But if Spivey would have just used his legs a little bit more to give angles, to move to the side of Stewart, I think Spivey would have been even further ahead in this fight. But Stewart is negated when you give motion. Well, leading into this fight, it didn't seem that Mike Stewart had much respect for the smaller Doran Spivey. One would think that through 10 rounds, he has gained a little bit of respect because Doran Spivey has come to fight tonight. Good things come in small packages. Plenty of heart in that small body of Spivey. Plenty of punches. Game effort.
between Mike Stewart and Doran Spivey, and they're going to finish it strong here at the Arts Palace. Well, Mike Stewart told us he has no excuses if he loses. He trained hard and is prepared. He is 28-0-2 for right now. We will get the official decision and find out if it stays that way when we come back. Mike, we got the job. Steaks, sign me up, make it hot, extra onions. Let's take a look at the total punches. Doran Spivey and Mike Stewart through 10 rounds. A wonderful pace set by Doran Spivey. He was the more active puncher. He threw 995 punches in 10 rounds, a 37% clip. As for Teddy's scorecard, Doran Spivey, 97-94. Let's find out what the officials thought, and we go up to ring announcer Ed Derry. From the avenue of the Arts Palace here in downtown Philadelphia, I've got the scoring, and here it is. Judge Ron Greenlee scores 99-91, Spivey. Yeah. Judge Al Dorsey scores 96-94, Stewart. And Judge Robert Grasso, he scores it 99-91 for the winner by split decision, Doran, the Destroyer, Spivey. Spivey. So Doran Spivey moves to 29-2, and, and Mike, no joke, Stewart, on his home turf here in Philly, grabs his first loss. He is now 28-1-2. Coming up later in our main event, uh, Kasim Uma and Michael Lerma are just about ready to make their Philadelphia debut. Teddy, what should these...